a lot of people probably say it it's building an empire that's global and you making millions but personally i like to think success is a lot more generic and it's not sort of linear i think success can be different elements uh, i like to think that when you've got a portfolio that has many clients that you've helped reach their fitness goal it doesn't have to be just in fat loss it could be just in their well-being you know they feel better perhaps they were suffering from depression or anxiety and through the art of fitness and nutrition as a trainer as a coach you've helped guided them and help them feel better and to me that is success so it stems back from when i was in high school and um, it was one of my favorite subjects i really enjoyed doing the bleak tests and just playing football and basketball and all different sports really it just made me feel really good like every other lesson just made me feel horrible like i was just sat there for hours on end learning stuff that i didn't care about but with fitness it was you know you, you felt great and that's really where it stems from and slowly but surely i got into like cycling other sports badminton and i would just i just really enjoyed being outside and, and feeling good and i didn't want an office job i didn't want a desk job sitting there for eight hours a day and, and that, that's kind of where it comes from you know i think personal training it's not about belittling clients say for example a client who is lying and you know they're lying about or you might think they're lying or massaging the truth about eating junk food on the weekend you know instead of calling them out saying oh you shouldn't be doing that i know you're lying da, 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 da. you can come up with that with a different approach you could perhaps ask them a different type of question to help them open up which could be oh tell me where you feel you can make further improvements on your nutrition and that way the client is going to feel like one you're not putting them in the limelight but two they can open up and I think counseling and personal training does go hand in hand fat loss is about consistency but you've got to remember that calories in calories out does work don't underestimate what you're eating what you're consuming so there's a couple of things I would recommend when it comes to muscle mass. Um, progressive O-load, that's, that's key. If you're doing the same, and I've seen it, and I'm sure you've seen it, Toby, in the gyms, you see that same person that comes in, does the same thing, same workout, rep by rep, the same weight, and they've been doing it for years, and they're just not shifting either the visceral fat, they're not building any muscle mass. And it's because they're not, your, your body's very clever, it will adapt change the body is is engineered towards adaptability so if you're doing the same workout it's gonna get used to the, the same level of stress and it's not going to change so you need to keep things fresh you need to keep changing routine in order to keep the body guessing uh, again you know you can incorporate plyometrics you change the tempo dramatically there uh, you could change the rep rep ranges but again you want to focus on the rep ranges being between your six rep max up to your 12 rep max possible. Um, I'd also focus on nutrition because if you're not eating enough, then you know your body could go into starvation mode and it starts eating away at the muscle um, instead of the fat. So again, focus on eating calories. Make sure you're not in too much of a calorie deficit because that's not going to help you build much muscle. Focus on progressive overload. Also, rest, recovery. Don't be that guy that's training the biceps every day. You know, you want to focus on recovery. Again, you know, that 24 to 48 hour gap of working that same muscle again. The hardest thing about being a personal trainer is balancing your own fitness and workout regimen with your clients. It can get a little bit, and I know it sounds crazy, but if you're working in a gym for 8, 10, 12 hours and you're dealing with other people's needs, I'd say that looking after yourself can be quite difficult because you're so committed to making sure that your clients are achieving what they want that you don't really look after yourself. Uh, my favourite exercise is the lat pulldown or a pull-up or a chin-up. I enjoy doing those. I do, yes. The punch bag it is so versatile it's cost effective you can work pretty much every muscle group if you do an uppercut you're working a little bit of the bicep brachia if you're doing jabs crosses you're working your rear delts your triceps your pectoris major it's explosive it's plyometrics as well at the same time 
and you're doing cardio. If you are looking for fast results, there is no real easy way about it, but intermittent fasting can work. Obviously cutting your calories significantly can work. Just getting out in nature and walking, taking long walks, it can really help a lot of people who are overweight and obese to make quick changes.